Hey, how's it going guys? JC here, welcome to another Bronze of Diamond episode, and today we'll be playing Illawi. For those of you who are curious, I'm just standing in lane to set up tentacles, that's all I'm doing. And also, I played one game before this one, and the reason why I'm not uploading that one is because I didn't do so well, but also because we had an 0-15 cane that just went Tyler 1 status on me, ran it down mid with Moby Boots, so there wasn't much I could do about that one. I don't think it's really fun to watch someone in, in my game and then we simply lose because, obviously, I don't play this champion, so I'm not going to be able to carry. I'm pretty sure if I was playing a champion that I was comfortable with, I could have carried that game anyway, even with someone in team, but not as Illawi, just not sure how to do it. So we just set up some tentacles in the bushes, maybe one over here, and then we'll be good to go. It's really good that we set these up, uh, instead of instead of fake leashing because these will be really helpful in lane especially if Kale was to stand anywhere near that and then I W her I'm gonna get some really nice juicy extra damage and because it's in the bush it's going to be really nice since it's in the bush oh wow actually this hits really hard uh, because she won't be able to clear it or she won't know that she won't know to look for it and clear it Wait, is it visible to her even if it's in Fog of War? I'm actually not sure. Oh, nice, we hit her. I think early on I just want to get as much CS as possible. And we have a lot of sustain because I'm going for that Klepto tree. I might as well just cue the wave and push it in. Like, what is she going to do? Not much she can do about it, really. In this situation, I think I'm supposed to get E second because I'm not going to be able to... Oh, what? Not gonna be able to W her properly anyway. She's trying to tank the minions and freeze the wave. 2 minute 30 is when Udio can come. So all I'm doing is just queuing the entire wave. That way it'll just push. And Kale will struggle. So yeah, just get as much CS as possible. Cue the wave again. You don't always want to do that, depends on the matchup really. Like say, for example, reversing Darius, you probably don't want to do that. You just want to Q to last hit, but nothing else. Wow, we actually hit her with that. I was just aiming for the minion wave. Like, I'm happy either way, but that's a bonus. Once we push her in, we can start using our E to harass her. Okay, and then we start maxing E. So let's try to pull her spirit. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, now she's pretty screwed. This is where Ilawi shines, is really when you push them in, and then you can E them under tower, that's the best thing you can do. Absolutely amazing. We know that Udia is in the river right now, so I have to be a little bit careful. That's why Kale is coming back, because Udia is nearby, and Yi is just recalling. That's so bad, he's recalling at full health. I have to be very cautious right now. Okay, he's mid. Uh, that's good. That's good for me. Oh, what? Man, I feel like I got scammed with that E. Hmm. Oh, that's a 1 for 1 at mid. That's not too bad. I thought it was just a straight up first blood. We do so much damage with our Q. That's insane base damage. And we're CSing a lot better than a ranged champion, that means we're doing super well. Because generally we don't out-CS a ranged champion. He's, she's not sidestepping my Qs, that's really good. I mean, it's really good for me. Makes the lane a lot easier. But yeah, this is some really nice wave clear. Just do damage to her. Now she has to deal with those tentacles. Oh, I have to back away. Ouch. Look at her CS, 21. She's really low on CS. This is amazing. Oh, and you can do that to clear the back wave, I guess, if there's a tentacle nearby. Okay, let's spawn another one over here. I kind of want to go back as well, I want my black cleaver, but at the same time I can just keep pressuring her. I think we're better off just like pushing each other in because she has no mana and I have mana. So if anything I get priority. Okay, 
Okay, nice. We push this in. She teleported back. So we'll just do the same. Oh, we don't even need to use our teleport. We can just walk back. She's just going to push this into our tower because we crashed it in. I guess I'll grab a longsword since I have the magic boots. This is going to crash into tower. I might as well TP. I took too long to buy. But not really because I had to wait for gold for my longsword. Oh, maybe I should have teleported down there. Rip. What? Wait, that Udi is a god. Ooh, gonna slap her with that one. I know that Udi is down there at the river fight. He probably went back after. Okay, land our Q through the wave. We just want to shove it in. That's all we're using our Q for. And then we'll use our E to harass. That's why we're maxing it. It's because it's going to do the brunt of the damage. There we go. But yeah, we can't really kill her unless she goes all in. It's going to be really hard to kill her. Oh, okay. I don't know how to dive her. I'm not sure if I allow you like fit to dive someone. But all we can do is just keep shoving. And we get really good CS by doing that as well. We just have to watch out for a jungler. So this is like kind of a dangerous time again. Pretty dangerous for me right now. If if Master E comes, this is perfect. She's so diveable. Okay, nice. We destroyed that spirit again, and she's over there struggling. Wait, Ilawi's not like those other champions that you can easily kill someone in lane. If they're careful enough, they will easily survive you. Wait, what? What? Okay. That Udio though. Hmm, that's rough. I'm not getting any support from this Master E at all. Like, they're easiest dives in the world, but he's not coming. Maybe a triple assist ping would help. But I don't know. Um. Well, that's the best we could do there. Ah, okay. I'll take it. We'll take tower. Ooh, actually. Hmm. Shen's gone. I think we could have dove that. Head back to lane. So, Black Cleaver first, and after that, Sterex Gauge. I believe the reason why you want Sterex Gauge second is because your passive, which is those tentacles, they steal off of base AD. I think it's something like that. So right now it says plus 186. It's really insanely high. So that's the reason behind it. Our tentacle slam does like 400. It's really nice. Okay. Let's try to grab. Oh my god. I need to work on that aim. But yeah, I think this is pretty much Ilawi. Is just... She doesn't really kill anyone unless they commit onto her. And then if they flash away like that Udio earlier, just flash away, then not much I can do about it. Hmm. Okay, we can actually do that. That's still pretty decent. Really good trade. Because I know that Kale's really weak early on. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, we're poking her down like slowly and steadily. Ah, 
Oh my god. If I could land any of those, I'll be so good. But I think I need to land them near my tentacles if I can. Oh my god, I'm getting ganked. I'm going to ward behind me. Safe-ish ward. Always queue the backline, these backline minions. If you can queue them, that's really helpful in wave clearing. Like, that's if you don't want to get shoved in. Oh, nice. We got that spirit. Okay, so now she's going to be on a struggle bus ride. And then we'll just be able to push this in while she's busy with that. Let's get another ward here. Looks like Udi is over there. I didn't need to use that ward, so I kind of wasted it. Mm, it's kind of annoying that I can't dive her because she has ult. But is it worth a try anyway? I might die for it though. Okay, nice. So now we can just proxy. Because there's no point in chasing her. She's not going to stop and let us kill her. What? Double kill on Sona? Okay. So yeah, we just work away. We're at 140 CS at 14 minutes, so at least there's one thing you guys can take away is I'm CSing pretty well. Let's see if I could harass her before I leave. What? Wait, she's just standing still. Oh, okay, damn, that was... I thought I'd try something, but yeah. Damn it, that was a waste. Why is Kog'Maw up here? That means we get a free first blood tower. Okay, I'll take it. We one-shot the back line now, that's really important. Oh, what? So, KO is very low, and Kog'Maw can't 1v1 me, so I can just keep pushing. I'm pretty safe right now. Yeah, I'm pretty safe to do this. If Udia comes, it might be a problem. Oh, by the way, there's a trick where you can attack and then you have a huge move speed boost, see? What? Oh my god. Ouch. Boy, that Kog'Maw hits so hard. Jesus. I probably played that wrong as well. Nice, we get a tower here. Mm -mm. I need some wards. I feel like Shen could use his ward. Okay, that works too. Over the wall is not bad. It's just that he did it wrong. Whoa, what the heck? This Kog'Maw though. Alright, let's just back away. There's three top. Wow, that's a lot of back pings. Jesus. Okay, work towards our Sterix gauge. So you guys can see the base damage right now on my passive. It says 150 plus 316, so 460-ish on my uh, each of my tentacle slams. It's really nice. I guess because Ilaoi is not much of a split pusher, and this is already crashing into my tower, I have to go top. Like, this is going to just... I'm just going to lose my tower. Uh, can he 1v1? Oh, whoa. Wait, this is a support Shen. What? Hello? I guess they fed this support Shen way too much. That's a... Uh, wow. This is Sona. 3 and 4. So it's Kog'Maw that's been feeding? 1 and 6. Okay. And But then then again, Udia is really fed as well. 8 and 2. Ah, there we go. No! 
Let's get a ward over here. Take out another tower, very nice. Oh, I think we one-shot him. Nice. Damn, we did so much damage. Oh, wait, what? Oh, by the way, guys, the combo is just... Wait, what? What? I better pop my potions. So the combo is you press your ult, and then you press your W, then your Q, then your W again. And then you can press your W after that. But you don't want to use your E if you're already ulted. Because you want every second that your ult is up is very important. You don't want to waste it. This game's pretty over, but we have really good CS. And I think I showcased Alawi pretty well in this game. At least in terms of laning phase and everything. It's just that if they go all in on you, like a melee champion that goes all in, and you're level 6, you can really do some numbers to them. Otherwise, if you can push them in, that's very optimal. Oh my god. Wow, we just destroyed that spirit. Okay, get our Sterix Gauge. After that, we can work towards a Death Stance. The other option is you can go for Randuin's Omen. So after Sterix Gauge, you can go for Randuin's. Nice, split bot with TP. Okay, so now we have a side lane pushing and I have Teleport. In case I'm needed for Baron. Okay, I'll just type that out in case they don't know the strategy. Right, that's always a very solid way to do things. I can 1v1 her. Just clear out this minion wave. Make her go this way. We'll just shepherd her up. If anyone comes. I didn't get anything. Oh well. Not gonna chase. I'll just keep pushing. So she's off somewhere else, but no one's collapsing on her, so there's no point in going. Like, I don't have... I'm not a Trindamir with dashes that I can catch up to her. So she's probably recalled. And what I can do is look for a TP plays as well. Oh, there she is. I think Sivra can just walk away. Kale really doesn't have anything that I need to teleport for. Get a ward here before we hard commit to this tower. Oh, damage. Alright, so Udia is now very low from just the spirit. Do you guys see how he's on like 30% health? Wait, how did he heal up? Huh. I guess he's still struggling. Oh my god. He just disintegrated. <laughs> he literally disintegrated. Because we pulled his spirit, press our R, then our W. This Kogmo doesn't fear for his life at all. Wait, is he just gonna stand there? Oh, okay, he's not gonna stand there. I don't want Sivir to be with me. I can't help her. Like, if anything happens, I don't have ult, so they could collapse on us and I'll probably die. What? Wait, what? Oh, uh, okay, I don't know. I guess, like, no matter what, there's always someone inting on both sides. It's just that if you do well enough, you're gonna win anyway. Like, uh, I had one... I mean, my last game was Kane that was going Moby Boots and inting, but this one's like a different sort of int. I guess it's not as bad as the uh, Kane. Oh, it's not as bad as Kane, but still pretty bad. But Kane's one is like, he's not even helping in team fights. At least Kog'Maw would maybe attack someone. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not too sure about this one. If they chase us, then sure. Damn, I thought I'd kill Sona by doing that. Oh, okay, I killed someone. I have no mana. I need to back away. I have no mana. Wait, they just let us go like that, huh? We get our death stance now, we're really rich. I don't think they can stop us either. Okay. 
We'll help Sivir escort. Escort Sivir. Because that thing is going to try to attack her. <clears throat> oh! Got it. Damn. Okay, I think Master Yi's got Infernal Drake, so I can start pushing our top and then I'll rotate to Baron. I think the other mechanic about Ilawi is if you hide in a bush, you press your E and after that you can ult and flash. You ult flash onto them and they just do insane amount of damage because you'll use your W after. So that's like one way of going aggressive and engaging on them. I think that's like the only way you can do it if you want to like jump into them. That would be the only way Ilawi can do it. Hmm, ouch. Okay, we're gonna heal up because of Death Dance. The annoying thing is I can't really catch her. I don't really have anything to catch these guys. They have to just run onto me. So that's the weakness about Ilawi is they have to in into me or I can't kill them. Oh, okay, we got her spirit. Like that's the only other way is if we get her spirit, then we can chunk them down. So Ilawi is pretty good as a team fighter really, like extremely good. I guess I'll stick with Sivir for now. That way we can actually get something done. Ilau is not that good of a split pusher. Like, she's decent, she can work. What? Mm, okay. Right, this Kog'Maw is inting? Oh my god! Okay, the damage. Oh, also our ult um, can escape crowd control, if you didn't know. Oh, I'm dead. But yeah, uh, one thing to note is, say if Yasuo is going to knock you up with a Steel Tempest, with his third Q, you can use your ult to completely avoid the knock up, and then turn it around on him. That's something that I saw on a guide. And I have like a guide opened up, so that's why I know like a few things, so I'm not like going in completely blind. But yeah, it looks like they're going to end it off. If they don't end it off, that's fine. We can still go for another team fight, so that's pretty good. And I'll be able to work towards my Randuans here. I think Randuans are pretty good pickup. I have so much tenacity from Merc Treads and Sterics. I might be able to just pick up a blue buff here to cap out on CDR, and then I'll go and kill them all. Because right now with my items, I have some magic resist, and I also have armor now. So they're gonna have a lot of trouble killing me. Okay, let's head down there. I have 30 seconds on my teleport. Okay. Alright, nice. They're gonna push top, and then we just push bot with TP. TP's in 10 seconds. Probably someone at red buff. Oh, they already took it. Also, the other thing is... The reason why you get Klepto on Ilawi is because... Oh my god. Ah, kill all. Damn. Damn, I thought I could do that. I guess not. Uh, Master is not gonna succeed with this one. I think he should have just taken this. I had the vision of just turning it around on them. I guess I didn't do it properly. What, what do you guys think I could have done different? If I pulled Udia Spirit, I think it would have been a lot different. Or maybe I needed to ult flash onto them. I'm not even sure, or just like run away. Like there was no fighting that. I thought there was some potential in me fighting it. I guess at this point there's not much point of a mountain drake considering this <laughs> open nexus. And there's like, this tower is like one hit away from dead so... Mountain drake's completely useless at this point. But there's wave clear though. Absolutely nuts. 
See how there's this Lux over here? If I walk into her, she'll just blind me. It's really annoying. Okay. But you guys see how a lot of those other champions, that if I see Lux in that situation and I was standing this close to her, I could easily just kill her. But I guess not as Ilawi. Or maybe I'm just like missing something. Like maybe I'm supposed to flash ult onto her, but that's kind of excessive for an easy kill, you know? I guess we'll just take objectives and end it the old fashioned way. Wait, are they gonna die? Oh wow. Oh my god. Wait, Master is cleaning up? About time. It took so long to clean up. I guess it's gonna end. It's just gonna end it there. So let's go for the family photo. Oh, we're gonna make it. Family photo and plus 50. Very nice. GG well played. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. I think it was kind of intense, but at the same time, if you guys are Ilaoi mains and you see some situations or like some really nice tips and tricks you can add into the comment section below, I'll be sure to pin it or favorite it so that everyone can see it and everyone that wants to learn Ilaoi will be able to pick up extra tips and tricks after watching this video. So you can like go down below and have a look. As well as having insight from a first timer, so if you were to first time this champion. If say you're watching and you don't really play Ilaoi, then you might be able to learn a lot of little things that... You might be able to notice a lot of things that maybe you'll, that you'll also struggle with as a first timer as well. But yeah, let's have a look at damage, kind of curious. Okay, wow, definitely did the most damage by a long stretch and rightfully so. But in terms of KDA, it doesn't look that good. I think I'm missing something. I just know that I'd really like to see a target and then I want to take it out, like just chase it down. Like maybe it's a Lux or something like that. As Ilawi, I feel like I'm so handicapped. I can't do that. They have to run into me. And if Udia runs into me with a Kale ult and Kale's like kind of far away, I can't really kill her, so it's pretty problematic. I have Lash ult onto Kale, and then maybe I could have killed Kale at the same time do collateral damage to Udio. I think that was the best play, but anyways, GG well played. Be sure to comment down below which champion you want to see next, and if it's already there, just make sure you upvote it. I'll be sure to play it in the next episode. Anyways, that is all for this episode. I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.